Hey, what's going on, everybody? DroidLife.com, another video review. Uh, this time we're doing Tweetcaster, which is the brand new application out there from Handmark, uh, in beta testing stage right now, and we got a, we got a hold of it, and uh, they sent us a copy and wanted us to check it out. So let's go ahead and give you a quick tutorial on it. Um, pretty cool uh, Twitter application, actually. I, I like it a lot. It it's it definitely is going to rival Seismic. Uh, better than Twidroid, rivaling Seismic. Uh, definitely worth checking out once it comes out. Um, basically, when you install it, you come in and you can add an account. And as you can see right there, I got my Droid Life account already up there. And you can also add another account. Okay, so that's one thing Seismic's not doing right now. You can't add multiple accounts. And with Twidroid, obviously, you have to pay to get the pro version to add more than one account. So Tweetcaster, I don't know if the full version that comes out is going to be able to do multiple accounts, if they're going to do a paid version or what. But the beta version they gave me definitely allows you to add more than one account. Very nice touch there. Um, also, you see on there, you can do trends, you can do searches, and then you can, you know, see who's nearby you, which is always nice. And you can use your current location or your zip code, and it pulls a lot of people up. And that guy right there said he just vomited before work. Nice touch, buddy. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and go into my account. Let's go into the Droid Life account. So when you pull it up, it's got a different look than uh, than other Twitter applications. You know, it definitely separates out each tweet so you can really see who it's coming from. Um, it's big. You know, it takes up a lot of space. Some people like their mini version, like you got on Twidroid and even on Seismic. But uh, this is kind of a cool take on it. Um, definitely, you can see who the tweet's from. Separates everything out. Uh, if we go ahead and click on a tweet, it gives you, you know, your options. It gives you uh, the URL, if it's in there, reply, retweet, favorite, all that good stuff. Um, let's see, we can also click on the person and get their profile options, block them, follow them, reply to them, go to their profile, and let's go ahead and check out what a profile looks like of somebody. Okay, so there's their profile, you can see their followers, their favorites, all that good stuff. And let's, actually, let's go back in there and show you that real quick. Didn't have the camera out far enough. You can see down there it says I'm actually following this person already. Okay, and the number of tweets they have. Nice little touch. Hey, let's go back. You can, up here, you got your main tabs. Um, you got this button that goes back that takes you to your accounts. Um, sorry, I probably missed that. You got this button up here, and you can select your view. So it takes you to your Twitter actual application, um, shows you your accounts, trends, and all that. You can just keep toggling back and forth with that. And then also up top there, you got your main tweet page, you got your reply page, you got your direct message page, and you got your favorites, and then over here you got your lists. Okay. Cool thing I like about their direct message um, um, sort of function is that it only lists your sent messages. Um, Twidroid and Seismic are both including both your sent and you received, which is completely obnoxious. So I'm glad that the handmark people put together just the ones you've received in there, because not none of us really need to check out all the ones we've sent out throughout the day. So very nice functionality there, really smooth. Um, you can see down here when it was last updated. You can see down here uh, the number of tweets that it updated. As far as I can, I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Um, and then if we want to go ahead and do a new message, there's a little button up top there. I don't know if you guys missed that. I'll show you that again. That button right up there. There is your button, and there's your send button. You can hit this button um, to check out other tweets you looked at recently. It's kind of a cool little thing, actually. Hit that eyeball, and it gives you recent tweets that you looked at. So very nice. Uh, we can click in here, and let's see what kind of options we get. Oh, if we click on that button, that's where we get our, let's see, let's do that again. You click on that button right there, it gives you your shrink URLs, add picture, add usernames, geotag it, all that good stuff. So it's got all that functionality. Very nice. And let's see if we can get back out of that. So that's, that's how you get to it. Very nice. Um, pretty easy, pretty quick to use. Um, and tap it in there, get my keyboard. I can long press and change to my swipe keyboard. Yep, it's got swipe functionality, it looks like. Throw a word in there. Oh, okay. And let's see. We could go back. Very nice. Um, that's pretty much it. That's Tweetcaster. Um, definitely worth a look. Um, we just got it a few minutes ago, so this is really our first time just browsing through it. So uh, if you got questions or comments on it, leave them at the blog, droid-life.com, or in the YouTube channel, and we'll try to get at you. We're out. Peace.